to not switch the microphones on on the console and this uh, is going to be much more edited than it was originally and discussing that in order to put this Pi Westminster which was donated by one of the meters AM the center frequency is 70.26 and really that 19 jabbering when other people are out there I've had a radio on this frequency for 10 years I have to arrange something isn't it that's what's going to have to happen now I'm not going to be each so that will be 70 pounds to do this project so we're going to borrow them which you can see to the top of the picture problem is the crystals in, in the Westminster so the ones in the Westminster use a holder called eight crystals in the Pi Motorphone use crystals which use a holder HC twin size physically as the ones you get on um, 10.24 reference oscillator holder in that's called HC 18 stroke U so there's the Pi Motorphone and when you put in for a license give you one channel for every hundred vehicles you have so you have a so you can split when busy so in all my years at Nottingham and they had 200 and something cars and uh, we had another set so it, if you can not have a channel selector switch on a two-way road mess up so that's where the crystals live this is a perfectly dined and they do about three watts and it's low band AM so you can see our crystals out of that for this demonstration at least five watts output most business radio license is 25 don't be confused with W15 get the pink calculator out so the crystal frequency is still for 70.26 it all has to be multiplied and on receive the I so the crystal multiplication factors are shown in the service manual somebody is one of the viewers has kindly sent us a box of crystals which are a crystal on the frequency you want you're more likely to win the lottery and them sets of crystals are going to be for business radio frequencies and um, 53 type crystals and if you frequencies like 167 ish and that would be typical for VH for that we, you receive crystals um, it's going to be multiplied by 9 that's so you can get the deviation for the uh, transviation so whereas on AM high band sets you may have a times 3 the FM it's going to be times 9 a lot of the crystals which are in this batch are two band radio because 9 times um, ish so a lot of the frequencies um, are going to be VHF low band F divide by 2 crystal for transmit and a minus 10.7 divide by 2 crystal tells us all that isn't it lucky that I bought the service manual to rally I've got a UHF boot mount Westminster which I wouldn't mind I generally know GB3 GR you know sound is going to stop you from hearing it on receive well just think how quiet AS equipment at one point I put it on the uh, on the CB aerial on receive this is the video for transmit There's other things to do today like a Harvard 420 sticker on the side well, the, not a sticker it's a riveted on map 15 it tells us it's 12 and a half kilohertz spacing and it tells us it's single channel manufactured on and it was 86 point something on receive and you can see in my experience very very rare you have back to back two and five watts and that's normally on a UK general line. firm wants is for a car to be able to talk to another car and what you do is you radio through to base and you say can your car pick these people up and I don't know where this address is and then the base will call car 17 or go down Wally Street you know so it's passed on it's quicker that way and you don't get drivers talking to each other range because you're base to mobile not mobile to mobile you're going to get 35 miles as a absolute peak I think on 
the, the range to be around 16 kilometers maximum exactly the same as CB range. Government have allocated you the channels so this type of equipment is available on these different bands 88 I think or 86 there was the old mid band remember in days gone by you could listen to police on around 100 101 megs just be aware that was AM so it was on VHF but it was AM in order to get some kind of resolution of the AM signal so you could hear it on your FM so I'm explaining here about the crystal multiplication minus to, it's the frequency you want minus 10.7 next thing is crystal sockets on stalks so we could because I don't want to be sold after this demonstration for our transmit crystal and 29 megs for our receive crystal by the time and it's simply the frequency we want divided by 2 70.26 divided by just about get those spring clips luckily the motor phone is the same multiplication factor okay so I've decided to redo the rest of this video but of course it's going to be shortened because I've already done the set so we've got the we'll put the radio the other way on Um, I had to open the mic up because the push to talk there isn't being actuated properly by the lever. I'm going to have to put some tape on there to build this up a bit. It's so worn, it's not operating the lever. I don't want to start messing with the strength of the springs, so we'll just build it up a bit. I mean, 1973, it's probably done a few years. Right, um, so, what the first thing we need to do is to do the multipliers. I'm going to use... This was also sent in by a viewer, this uh, analog meter. We need to use an analog meter because we're looking for a slight adjustment which we can really only see on a, on a meter with a needle. So. If we look at this service manual, it tells us to go on test point one, which is here. Especially if I put the other glasses on. Okay, so test point one is there. And it tells us that we want to get peak from this coil. there's it's dropping there's the peak and then it tells us that we want to get dip on this coil and dip is there then we go over to the next test point and it tells us we want peak And then it tells us to go for peak now with all three on that test point. It's going to be very, very delicate.
And there we are, I'm using a ceramic tool as usual. So our receive crystal is there, our transmit crystal is there. These are the multipliers, so it's timesing it by two. It then tells us to go over to the IF unit. There is a procedure, you can follow the procedure, but I'm using going to use the sign meter. So let's put that up on the screen. I won't show on it. Because we're using a sign meter, I don't need to follow the service manual exactly. So let's turn the volume up. So we've got peak on that. We've got peak on that. Now to put it on frequency, and I'm going to show you this while I've got it this way up. I'm going to turn the tone off. Put a bigger signal on, and I've got the signal drainage on 30 microvolts at the moment. So we'll drop it down to 10. So I've already tuned this, so it's uh, it's kind of it's difficult showing you after the fact. But um, what we're going to do is get our secondary signal generator here, turn the tone off, signal's still on, but the tone's off. And instead of being on 10.695, our second signal generator, I'm just making sure we're spot on on the, signal gener on the main signal generator, so I'll just show you, 70.26, I don't need to be stupid with the decimal places, let's go back to the sign on meter, so on here, We've got 10.695 for when we do CBs. So I'm going to adjust that to 10.7. Now I'm going to turn the volume up so you can hear the musical note. I've not even got anything plugged in, but I can hear it. So I poked a bit of solder in the output. Yep. Now we adjust the trimmer. For null. That's now it's on frequency. If I go the other way, we'll get a musical note again. And back. Okay, we can switch this back off again. Switch the tone on the signal drain and it's back on. We know it's spot on frequency. So we've got one, two, three, four, five here. Um, one, two see what the sequence is well, I'm just looking for the board number to be honest right they say are you T2, so it's this way around, T2, L3, T1, L2, L1. I'm going to go backwards and forwards till nothing better is uh, achievable. So that's the sequence from top to bottom. As I say, these are well before my time. So I'll drop the signal again. So we've got it on the cyanide meter. Don't need to use a sound meter, you can use an AF uh, an audio frequency voltmeter, millivolt meter, which is much, much cheaper than using a sound meter for AM. But we've got these things, that we've got, seeing as we've got the sound meter, we'll do it this way. So 
so you can see that's worse that's peak that's very fine I moved it three because it's quite a way so I had to screw these upwards quite a long way that's affecting it even though it's ceramic we've started off like 300 millivolts and then finally that one um, I can touch these up it would be ideal to follow the manual for the uh, for this and one of these is broken but I can show you this one that one is broken and the fact that we can receive at that's one microvolt so we, we you know this is at the moment it's doing three microvolts for 12 db cyanide but it's not like that on am it doesn't mean that that's rubbish um if i go on the 0.3 scale can i still hear it and the answer is yes i can still hear it at 0.3 of a microvolt the fact is that the IF wasn't going to be that far out from where it's been before. So on a subsequent video, I'm going to do the transmit. Because I've actually spent about two hours on this um, in re real time. But I do need to do uh, a Harvard 420M. I'm going to get some tape on this. Then on a subsequent video, we'll do the transmitter. Just for giggles, I'm going to unplug the test gear. Put that to standby so it doesn't interfere. We'll plug our CB aerial in. Obviously, this is totally wrong, but just to prove to you, there's nothing to hear. So you're now listening to 70.26, which is the centre of activity. Really, the only frequency you're going to hear. Four meters AM amateur radio on. I could do four meters for a Roger, couldn't I? But we haven't got a transmit yet. So I hope you saw this getting somewhere. We've, we've now got it on frequency and it's receiving well. Remember, it's 1973. These were a lot of money, they're very well made. Um, what more can you say? So don't go rushing out buying them because for you to get crystals for one channel, you know, you're looking at 70 quid unless you stumble upon them at a radio rally. So, um, sorry that I had to overdub the first part of this and they've kind of had to accelerate the second part, but at least you have seen it now in operation on receive, and receive is the harder bit to do. Thanks for watching. Hi, Westminster from 1973, now on 4 metres AM.